Hello. I am going to attempt to measure the amount of energy I'm having to put into my generator to get the 30 watts that um, was produced by my Stirling cycle engine. Um, the setup is this. I have a, the generator rigged up so it's attached to the chuck of an electric drill which is clamped to the bench. On the, ch on the chuck there's a reflective strip which will be, uh, this is a, 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 a tachometer which um, when, I, when I press the button you will see that um, it senses that strip and that will count the revolutions. Um, also on the, the rig up here I've got this piece of string wrapped around the circumference of the generator down to a weight which is on the um, on the kitchen scales. Please don't tell my wife I'm using her kitchen scales. Here I've got my voltmeter and I know that when I when the voltmeter reaches 13.5 volts I know that when it's being that 13.5 volts is being fed into these four lamps, I know that that is equal to 30 watts. 30 watts. So what, which is the, what I was getting from my Stirling cycle engine. So what I'm going to do now is run up <coughs> the electric drill using this variac, and I'm going to run it up until I get to be 13.5 volts on the voltmeter. I'm going to measure the. The, the torque reaction on the casing of the generator and I can measure that in grams and then by using this formula here I should be able to work out the amount of energy being put into the generator to get my 30 watts output so I'm going to run it up now and I'll, put, I'll focus in on the instruments Here we are, ready for start up. Well there, I had 304 grams of pull on the, uh, on the generator, 304 grams, uh, I'd th uh, the revolutions were 2644 revolutions per minute. So from that uh, formula now we should be able to work it how much power is being put into the system. Well I've, I've now done my uh, calculations and I've written on the board there the, what I've found. The um, revolutions per minute 2644 6.4 is the radius of the, the, out of the generator 304 is the, the weight in grams being pulled by the reaction of the generator um, and all that and this is a conversion factor this is uh, because we're, we're dealing in uh, small money rather than uh, watts or, kilo, or kilowatts so we've had, this is a conversion factor for bringing it down into um, into small quantities and the conversion factor is that uh, so we end up with uh, 52.47 watts that's the input power into the into the generator so another, so that is the power that the um, the generator was producing, the um, the Stirling cycle engine was producing, 50, 52.47 watts, plus the um, the amount of power needed to work the the the, the pump, the coolant pump, and the um, the cooling fan. 
And I reckon if we round that up, and we, if we sort of guess it's like 8 watts for all that, so if we add 8 watts onto there, we'd get a nice round figure of 60 watts. So we're getting around about 60 watts of power from the, the engine, which is a little bit disappointing for me. I was open for more, but there, we can't have everything. But, um, so, the, uh, um, so we're getting ne nearly uh, 1 watt per cc of uh, displacement of the power piston. And I think that concludes the uh, concludes things for now. Thank you.